Hello everyone, welcome back to my Hollow Knight Let's Play series. Anyway, you might notice something. Uh, by the way, our my save file that I'm playing through for this video, it's file number three. It's always selected at the start of every video. Now you may be noticing, boyo, why are we starting in dirt mouth? Well, that's because I just don't want to. I didn't want to waste time traveling from the resting grounds to dirt mouth. So, just save some time. I just basically took the stag to dirt mouth. Didn't do anything else. So, you might be wondering why we're gonna start in dirt mouth. Well, because. Wait, did we? I think, yeah. We got the shopkeeper's key last time. Here, wait. Yeah, we got the shopkeeper's key last time, which allows us to get more items in Sly's shop. And. Excuse me. Hold on, wait, what's this? Oh, map, okay. And that just allows us to basically get more items at the shop. But first, I'm gonna buy the quill real quick. Because I forgot, I never went in the shop. Ah, <sighs> Bafanada. Yep. Okay, let's just buy the quill real quick. Resting Grounds and Green Path map. Wait. I didn't get the Resting Grounds map? Well, I mean, we're not gonna use them. Let's just buy the maps because... I think we can afford the Elegant Key, which is an item you get once you give Sly the Shopkeeper's Key, which we are going to be using in this video. Oh! What do you have? Oh, that's the key to my storeroom. Oh, it looks bad on camera. I just noticed. Here, let me refocus. Hopefully that looks better. Sorry, I just looked over and noticed that. Thought you thought you lost the key for it. How did he actually... This is one thing I'm wondering. How did he lose his key in the Crystal Peak? Because he doesn't have any clue how it ended up up there. Now I can open the storeroom. Oh good, we can afford the elegant key. Now, can we afford a mask shard or anything? Nope. Uh, nope, he still sells that egg he found under his desk. See ya, bucko. Oh yeah, and we can also, uh, leave dirt mouth by the way we came. Most games wouldn't allow you to do this, but... We can actually leave from where we came. But I'm not gonna do that, because I don't want to go to the Howling Cliffs yet. Oh yeah, I forgot we can't actually get up there yet. Oh yeah, ghosts will appear in certain locations now that we have the Dream Nail. That's the Grave Digger. I'm not going to be Dream Nailing any of them, just because I like to have the ghosts there. Oh yeah, there's a little secret up here, most that you might not know. Uh, there's a hollow nest seal up here. That guy wanted to go home, but oh, hold on, looks bad again. Hopefully that looks better. That guy wants to go home, but he just barely missed it. Cause yeah, there's a loading zone right there that takes you up to dirt mouth. Oh my goodness, it looks bad on camera. I'm sorry, I can't get to look any better than that. Oh yeah, we can get our Grub Father rewards. From the three grubs we returned. Or two grubs, I can't remember. So I'm gonna grab these real quick, and then I'm gonna take the stag out. To City of Tears. Oh yeah, this is our first time meeting the Grub Father. Wait, we rescued four grubs? When did we rescue? We rescued five grubs? When did I get. I remember getting two grubs, but. When did we get five grubs? Well, we got an extra. We can take an extra hit in combat now, which is good. I'm just gonna quit to menu so I don't have to walk back to dirt mouth. Oh 
Oh, we've already been, I've already been playing, or excuse me, this series has been going on for two hours and 37 minutes. Wow. My best time to beat this game, I think, was like three or four hours. I can't remember. Wait, when do you get the dirt mouth map? Do you just get it when you unlock the map? Because that's one thing I never... That's one thing I don't remember, getting the dirt mouth map. Pantomas, chill! Oh, wait, what am I going doing back here? So today, in this episode, I want to upgrade my nail twice. Oh, I just noticed. There's void floating around. You probably can't see it on camera, but there's little black specks. There's void floating around here. It's really yeah, weird. Cool. City stories. So in this episode, I want to go through the ancient basin and get the monarch wings. And then I also want to upgrade my nail twice. Because we have one piece of pale ore. We're going to get one in the ancient basin. And we are going to get another one from using the dream nail to fight the Soul Tyrant, one of the cooler bosses in this game. Let's just heal real quick. So let's go down as fast as we can. I think this is the fastest way down. I just nearly dodged in there. Not the bell fly, the um, the horn husk. Wait, why am I healing at full health? That was weird. Oh no, there's not the bench here. Hmm. Nope, that guy doesn't have any dream nail by all. Here's a bench, let's just sit at it because I can't. I'm using pronouns like we and let's because you're watching this video and while I can't see here or know you're there, um, there's multiple people watching this, as in probably two or three. Hold on, Wiggle. Where are we going to Lums? It's, yeah, it's further right. Let's just do this. Oh, wait! Normally when I do that, I get hit. How did we not get hit there? That was weird, we just went right through those little bench flies. Alright, let's sell some of our relics real quick for Bell some cash. Velmi Archit. Velmi Archit. Velmi yep, Archit. Wanderer's Journal. Oh, Paul. Velmi Archit. I know you can't see it on camera, but there's like... Up in the top left where it shows you my your soul, there's a little black speck and it's driving me crazy. Oh, you can't see it on camera, but Bell it's in your life. Nice. 800. Warmers Do you have freaking Helmadelka. Oh yeah, I actually got a chair now so I can sit down. Well, instead of having to stand up for 30 minutes. I want this episode to be more close to 20 or maybe even 15 minutes, even though I know that's not going to happen. It'll probably be closer to 20 minutes. That's my prediction at the 9 minute mark. Because making it to Broken Vessel in the Ancient Basin isn't very hard. It's also one of the shorter areas. But... I am going to do a bit of extra things, like fighting a Dream Variant boss, upgrading the nail, and such, so... Ow. And... Oh wait, how are we even going to get into the Ancient Basin? Should we use... Should we go to the Blue Lake? Ah, Ronjo Stenja. Yep, 800 Geo to strengthen my nail. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go Good down shot. to... Oh, we don't even need to go down there to the Blue Lake. We can just take the stag up to the... 
resting grounds and take the elevator down from there. Wait. Oh yeah, that's right, it's locked. Yeah, we are gonna have to go across the blue lake. So now we upgraded our nail to the channeled nail. But before we do that, I'm gonna save and quit so we can just make it up to the soul sanctum faster. I don't want this video to be a 40 minute mess. I'm having to split it into two parts. trying to make it back to the soul sanctum as fast as I can. Hopefully you can hear me, because I'm kind of not next to the camera. I'm going to scoot closer. Here we go. Whoops. locked door. Let's put in that key we just got. Wait. Yes. Alright, unlock the door. I wonder what's past here. Nice room. Uh-oh. I managed to spook me for a second, even though I didn't even be there. Alright, this is the harder variation of this fight. Where he summons qualities or mistakes or whatever those guys are. I don't remember what they're called. I'm pretty sure these guys are called qualities. This guy is a lot harder for the same reason Lost Kin is hard. Uh, he has minions that pop up around the arena. Oh, wow, that was actually easier than I thought it would be. Whoops, wow, that's a lot of Wanderers journals. Oh yeah, this, there's nothing up there. Hmm, someone's connected to this device. Examine closely? Yeah, I don't think I want to, but let's do it. That was spooky, and it's gone. That snail shaman just disappeared. And now we have our second power-up upgrade. Vengeful spirit upgraded into the shade soul. Now let's get out of here and fight soul tyrant. Now, the reason I'm fighting the- whoops, I needed- I didn't need that, but I just wanted to, wanted to get that. The reason we're gonna- I'm gonna fight Soul Tyrant is because he gives you 300 essence when you beat him, and to get a piece of pale ore, which you need to upgrade your nail, you 
you can you need 300 essence. So just this might will give us enough essence. Give me enough essence to get a piece of pale wood. So let's just rush back to the Soul Tyrant arena. I'm just trying to rush through here as fast as I can. Ooh, he's glowing. Let's dream nail him. And all right, everybody, welcome back. Um, well, I need to explain for a second. This welcome to day two of filming this. Um, we are in the dream world inside of the Soul Master's mind. So, uh, yesterday my screen, my recording software, like, broke. But I figured out what was going on with it. I had to do a whole process, like, resetting my phone. But I got it all figured out, so hopefully there will be no major issues. Uh, it's, it, this took two days for me, but it'll be like nothing happened for you. So, anyway, let's continue basically where we left off. Soul Tyrant. A boss that actually gave me much more trouble than I expected him to. Especially when he, oh, especially when he pulls a switcheroo like that. I don't expect to do this first try, especially since I don't have very good abilities. episode of the series, I think we're, I plan to go through the Royal Waterways, which is basically the sewer system for the city. gonna attempt a soul tiring, I highly recommend using uh, Abyssal Shriek, which is the best spell in the game in my opinion. Also, um, happy yesterday Valentine's Day, because as of uploading this, 
or I'm recording this on Valentine's Day, but this video is gonna come out the day after Valentine's Day. So I guess happy late Valentine's Day, I guess. Oh, okay, my fingers actually starting to hurt now. So my, that might not do very well for the rest of the fight, because my fingers starting to actually hurt a lot. Oh yeah, that's a funny thing you can do in this fight. <laughs> you can just jump away and stay up here, which is funny. And then you can look down here. All right, let's go down and start the second phase. A really fun second phase, by the way. This is definitely the easiest part of the Soul Tanner fight. Just keep, oh, just keep jumping and dashing. You won't get hit at all when you do it until it dies if you just keep doing that. I might actually die here. I really hope I do. Oh yeah, of course. Like one hit away too. One hit, like literally one hit away from winning. Well, let's fight him again. I was a little reckless on that second phase. So this is definitely a long fight considering my nail has been only up only been upgraded twice. So Oh yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I'm doing this fight to get a piece of nail ore. Because when you win this fight, you get 300 essence. And you need 300 essence to get a piece of nail ore to upgrade your nail. I don't have the mana beans. So I keep trying to do double double jump. And I don't do it and I get hit. But in this episode we are gonna get the mana wings. That's his desolate dive again. And I think he's gonna do some true. Nope. Another desolate dive. Come on, I wanna make That's the switchery right there. 
That's gotta hurt. Alright, second phase, full health. Also, when you're doing this phase, don't dash on the ground because the hitbox for when it hits the ground is actually quite large. So, more than likely, you're gonna get hit. So this is the easy part of the second phase. Try to hit him up there. On the normal Soul Master, you can kind of hit him up there without having to worry about getting hit. Nice! Second try. Soul Tyrant is definitely one of the harder fights in the game, but once you know what to do, he's not very hard. Oh yeah, and here's his ghost. Let's not dream nail it, let's actually just listen answer for the so basically he thinks that the answer to fixing the infection was using the soul for killing all these dudes but the king didn't like it and then he wouldn't be immortal and he was infected and he dies now all right they're under essence and i believe we can just save and quit out of here all right and then now, we are going to be heading to the Ancient Basin, but I will be stopping by Salbura, I think, that's how you pronounce it, and buy some charm notches so I can equip some charms. Excuse me, I'm using a different, my actual main desk chair to sit down in, and it's way more comfortable, so sorry if you hear, like, squeaks and wheels moving, that's what that is. Alright, let's get out of this dump. Well, I mean, the City of Tears is not a dump. Well, I guess kinda now it is, but... Anyway, just forget everything I said, basically. Sometimes I just go on runoff sentences like that and don't know how to end it, and it sounds really weird. Look, I'm not the best at commentary over videos, okay? I kinda just think of stuff and say it in the moment. Anyway, um, I'm trying to think of topics I can talk about or a story. Because one part I like about YouTube videos and stuff like this is when they tell stories. So I'm trying to think of a good story I could tell. Actually, yeah, let's stop by the resting grounds real quick and get some rewards. I think we did- I think I did upgrade the nail in the last part you watched. Let me see. Uh, yeah, channeled nail. Oh, I guess I could kind of tell a story about this game on my first playthrough. On my first playthrough, I basically went for, for the true ending. But I didn't fight the Radiance, which is basically the true final boss. So I got the Sealed Siblings ending. So I had to play through the game again without getting the true ending, just to get the basic ending. Oh, Spirit's Blade. Oh, I can show you a really cool area. Or well, wait, do you need the Monarch Wings to get into that small area? I'm trying to think. Alright, give me a pale ore. Thank you. Alright, and then we'll get another piece in the ancient basin. One th oh yeah. One thing I hate is when, like, you need to sneeze, and then you try to sneeze, and it, the sneeze just doesn't come out. That just happened to me, and I absolutely hate when that happens. Hello, Revic. Millibug. That dude. I forget where it is. It's higher up, I think. Here's a whole bunch of ghosts made by people who've helped fund the game. Oh yeah, if you don't know, there's a sequel to this game coming out in like 10 years or something. Not 10 years, but soon. Hopefully soon. And I really want 
to make like a ghost or something. If those are even going to be in the game. To be put in the game. That would be cool, but I don't know if you can, if they're still taking donations or stuff like that for Hollow Knight Silk Song. I'm trying to make it up there onto the top. Okay, let's make it. Nope. I think I just need to get a little higher on this wall. Will that make it? I think you need monarch wings to get up there. Because there's a small ledge up there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, you can't see it on camera. But you can dream nail the small statue's head and go to a really cool area called the Shrine of Believers. But I can't get high enough to actually be able to dream nail the statue's head. I do think there's just a- oh yeah, 100 Nail Warrior, really cool. I think this is the grave of- no, it's one of these though. No, 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 no. Yes, this- this is my favorite, uh, ghost in the game, by the way. It's a ghost named Thistlewind, and it's a moth. Oh, that's coming from the game. I thought I heard, like, a phone ring. Um, where is the Whispering Root in here? Because I think there's, like, a King's Idol or something near it. Oh, wait, no, that was in here. I already got it. Okay, let's just get out of the Spirit's Blade, then. Alright, let's head back to Dirt Mouth. I think I- there's two things I want to buy in Sly's shop real quick, before we actually head off to the ancient base of- Now you might be asking, hey, Mr. Boy of McGee, how are you gonna get into the ancient basin without going into the Royal Waterways? Because you can't access the Blue Lake right now. Actually, I can. And I'll show you in a minute. Oops, no, I don't want to look at that. I'm gonna buy two vessel fragments so I can hold more soul. Nice. Oh, it's 900, jeez. Well, I have the money, I might as well buy it. First filled vessel fragment. There we go. Can you see it on camera? Yeah, you can. Uh, what else does he sell? A key. Sprint Master. Just, that'll be helpful for moving around, I guess. Eh. Nah, I'm gonna get that later. So now let's head down to the Forgotten Crossroads. Hello, older book. There's the map shop. I don't need to go there yet. Alright, let's go to Forgotten Crossroads. Hopefully it looks better on camera than it did last time. I messed with the resolution a little bit. Oh, Tiso's here. I forgot about you. Hello, Tiso. Pathetic. For using the stag stations, dude. No need for convenience. Yeah, I guess. One, oh yeah, one thing I really like to do in this game, on my 112% completion file, I like to just wander around. Like, go from the ancient basin through all the areas and get up to the howling cliffs. That's one fun thing I actually quite like to do in this game. No, oh, I forgot you were there, Mr. Leaping Husk. Or wait, do we even need to do the shade skip to get up to Blue Lake? 
Oh, you don't even need to do the shade skip. Okay. I thought you needed to die to get a shade to spawn. And then bounce off of the shade to get up here. But no, you can just crystal heart. Use the crystal heart to super dash up there. Didn't know that. Huh. Well, you learn something every day, I guess. Wait, can we even get another charm notch? No, we can't. Um, steady body sucks. Long nail. Yeah, I suppose. Why not? I won't use it right away. But that'll be nice for if I want extra nail range. Without having to have Mark of Pride on. Wait, you know what? Let's get a super long nail. Let's see, how, how long is it? Oh my goodness, that's a lot. That's a really high attack range. Don't use Soul Catcher that much. I don't use Soul Catcher that much, so... I think this will be beneficial more. Let's go, Blue Lake. Oh, Tiso made it here before me somehow. Saturday, what a calm place. Yes, it is. You want vicious and deadly battle? Yeah, I think that won't end up too well for you, buddy. The nice blue lake. Oh yeah, this is the lake. Here, wait, I think I can open the map. Or, here. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, you can just hold L. I'm using the switch, so if you hold L to open the map, you can double tap L to open the map like this. You can see the blue lake is above the City of Tears. Uh, that's actually why the city's raining, because... The lake is dripping down. Well, that's not actually in game. That's just story wise. Alright, let's open up the um, resting grounds from below real quick. Alright, and then now we can take the elevator to the wet, to the eastern side of the city of Tears. Oh dear, not one of these chunky guys. I don't like these guys. You know, let's take him down. They dropped a nice amounts of money. Ah, uh, never mind. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah, those guys are dangerous. Oh, dear. Oh, I nearly avoided that. Hope there's a bench nearby, because I need a heal. Oh, there's no way that way. Alright, so now we can take this elevator down to the eastern side of the city of tears and open up that gate. I mean, I could do watcher the watch. I could go through the watcher's spire if, right now if I wanted to, but I don't really want to do that. I want to do the dreamers in a row. I want to get all the power ups basically first. Oops, I meant to get over the other side, but I forgot there's no bench over there. <laughs> Oh yeah, you cannot. You can also do this. <laughs> you can just kill enemies through the floor, which is funny. No, hold on. I think I no, it's not a charm up there. It's either a. I think it's a mask shard up here. I can't remember. It's either a mask shard or vessel fragment. You can get here in this area. City of Tears action music. I quite like it. And that's it. Nope, there's still more. There we go. I think that's it. Yep. Nice little combat room there. And... Oh, Vessel Fragment. Nice. Two more and we can hold more soul. Chunky boy. Oh, what's over here? I can't remember. Is this just oh that's the elevator. Man, this video is gonna be long, and we're not even in the main area yet. Oh, wait, no. 
Nope, this isn't the way out. No! Oh, I thought he died. Dang it, gosh. Dang it. Fortunately, I benched outside of the Salubra's hut. Gosh, dang it. That was one of the few legitimate deaths I actually had so far. Gosh dang it, I stopped a little too early. I think this video is going to be as long as the Crystal Peak episode, both of them combined. I wanted this to be a nice 20 minute video, but now it's going to be more like 50 minutes. Jeez. Fortunately, I do have the storage for it this time. 20 gigabytes open on my phone. Oh yeah, also a quick tip for anyone using phones like mine. Uh, if you permanently delete videos, they'll take up a lot of storage. So you can like back your phone up on a computer and then wipe your phone and then restore it. And that'll get rid of all the extra phone storage that's dumped up by recently deleted photos. Like, I had 20 gigabytes worth of that stuff on my phone from recording all my plush adventure videos and such. So now I should be able to record for probably like three hours if I wanted to. Oh, here's my shade. There we go. Got all my money back. Oh, we're in the King Station. Nice. I'll just open the stag up real quick. I was like literally one, like two rooms away from a bench too, and I died. Oh wait, that's the wrong. It's one one room up, I believe, for the actual stag. Also, I don't think there's any lever to open that door, but you can kind of just do this to get in there. I don't actually know if there's a lever to get in there to open that door. Alright, here's the actual stag we want. We'll only spend 300 geo on this. Jeez. Oh yeah, there's actually a really cool secret in this room. You may notice this stag station is kind of open. actually get onto the ceiling here, and there's a hollowness seal up here, but you can't actually go higher than this. That's a little cool secret for you. I, that's one thing I like to do, just show off little well, not very well-known secrets such as that. Darn it. Also, there's one more secret I want to show you. house is it? Or a room? I think it's this one. Yes. You may notice there's a family in here. I think family would be the good word. But you might think, is that it? No. You can actually walk in here. And there's a golden boy. He takes like 20 hits to kill. But he drops like 400 geo. 420 geo, I believe. Alright, now we can actually make it to the ancient basin. But first, I do want to open up.
the lever that allows access between the west and east side of the city. Alright, now we can access the east side of the city from the west side of the city. Nito Mosquito. Oh yeah, that's one thing I like to do as well in this game is like try and make it through a room by not touching the ground and just pogoing off as many things as I can. Oh, forgot those spikes were there. This elevator shaft I don't know as well as many other rooms in the game. Oh. Oh, one thing I wonder is if it's possible to get into either of these rooms in this small spike shaft without actually coming in fr using the crystal dash. I bet it's possible, but I don't know advanced maneuvers to do that. But if someone watching is much better at the game than I am, uh, please give it a try. Broken elevator. Here you go. Oh yeah, there's another secret in this room. Man, this video is full of secrets. You may notice on the right there, this pillar is broken. Well, we can actually dash in here if I don't fall in the spikes. There's a royal retainer talking about how the infection is spreading, which is a big part of the story that I don't want to do delve into here, and I think I already mentioned it in this video, or the previous video. If you're interested in the lore of this game, please watch the video of the mostly complete lore of Hollow Knight. Oh my goodness, how did I not get hit there? Oh, I almost fell in the spikes there. Oh, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, but I am going to die. Nope. Oh, that was a very close one. I thought I was going to die there. Whew. Fortunately, I believe there's a bench nearby. Alright, now we are in the Ancient Basin. Alright, now I'm gonna go there uh, in that that direction after I get the Monarch Wings. Here we are, the musicless Ancient Basin. Well, I suppose there is music, this guy's singing. Logan Cornifer. Old Caverns. Fine, why not? I just want to get all the maps, because I can. Oh, there's these dudes. I can take them down for some soul. Oh, I don't think I can actually make it back up from here. Eh, that's fine, I don't need to. Now this room right here is why you need the monarch wing, I mean not monarch wings, the crystal heart to get through. You can pogo off of these spikes, I have done it before, but you can pogo off of them all the way to the edge of the room. Just heal real quick. You can pogo them all the way to here. But unfortunately, you can't get enough height from a pogo to get up here, which sucks. So that's one, that's the only reason you need the crystal heart to get the monarch wings. The ancient basin is actually one of my favorite areas in the game. Oh, life seeds. Oh, they don't give you soul. I, I meant light seeds, not life seeds. Those enemies are called light seeds. L I G H T.
Oh yeah, we're about to encounter a bunch of Molurks. Not brooding Molurks. No, not Molurks. I wait. These are either Molurks or Molurks. Oh dear. I don't like fighting these guys because their infection attack is actually very annoying to dodge, and also that is disgusting. So I'm not gonna fight all of them. I'm just. I just want to make it through here. Oh, I usually never make it through there. That's disgusting. Oh, I just barely hit that spike there. No, oh, gosh dang it. I'm having bad luck in this room today. Oh, whoops. Wait, I forget what's down here. It's... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's either a key or a journal or something. Yeah, key. What does this dude say? Mine. Yes, he got eat. He got eaten by a Molurk, and he just wants to keep the key. Why did I heal at full health? Alright, and I think there's just one more of those Molochs, or Molochs, to take care of. It's the easiest one to deal with, because you can just stand right there and keep hitting them. And there's... oh, just infected balloons. Also, one thing I'm interested in, are those infected balloons, like, do they have arms, or are they just floating balloons? Or are they just those light seeds with, uh, just light seeds that are a lot chunkier? Time for one of the coolest bosses in the game. He's, de it's decently easy, but it's also really cool. It's one of us. Oh dear, it's one of our friends. He's dead. Or it's dead, because he's because we're not we're our characters are not gendered. We're vessels, yada 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 story stuff. Oh dear. This guy. This is where all my orange juice went. A broken vessel. A very easy fight, but also a really cool one. Also, the music is really cool in this fight. One of my favorite boss themes. It's also kind of like the title music for the game, but just different, sort of. If that makes sense. It's a title music, but it's also kind of different. Can we dream nail him? Oh no, he doesn't have any dream nail dialogue. But he does have a dream variant boss, like the Soul Tyrant, which I thought. He should be dead soon. Yep. An easy boss, but a really cool one. I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. Gotta go. Well. There's some of my orange juice. Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned it, but we're on the quest to find out who stole my orange juice. It's not the quest of the story, it's just a little funny quest I made up myself. Because the infection, it's orange, looks like orange juice. Why not call it orange juice? Monarch wings! A very useful power-up. Alright, and that's where I'd normally end the episode, but there's a piece of pale ore we can get in the Ancient Basin, and I just want to grab that and upgrade the nail real quick. But in the next episode, I plan to go through the Royal Waterways. I can't remember, does it save when you get the Monarch Wings so you can't just save and quit back to a bench? I don't think it does. But if it does, I can just... Okay, yeah, it doesn't. Nice. So now we have all the major power-ups besides Isma's tier. 
So let's go get that piece of pale ore and upgrade the nail. Let's see, the piece of pale ore I'm missing. Um, I'm missing the Grub Father Reward piece of pale ore. The, um, what's it called? Coliseum of Fools pale ore piece I'm also missing. And there's one more that I can never remember. Oh yeah, Fountain Room, we can't do anything there because I don't have 3,000 Geo. I guess we can open up the Stag Station here, which is Hidden Dreams exclusive, by the way. I think the piece of the third piece of pale ore I can't remember where it is. It's probably in the Howling Cliffs, but I can't remember. Also, my favorite station, the Hidden Station. And of course, it costs 3,000 Geo to open. Jeebus. Also, the Crystal Heart is very good in this room. And jeez, I've been recording for 40 minutes so far. The video is going to be really long. That wasn't my intention. I wanted it to be a nice, like, 20 minute long video. But now it's going to be more close to an hour, probably. Which I don't like. Especially since my commentary isn't good. If, it, if, I had, if I had good commentary, then it would be good for an hour video. But I don't have the greatest commentary. So, yeah. Oh dear. What? Oh, whoops, I actually I forgot that hole was there. This is the way. Oh, lesser mollocks. These guys are scary. These guys are scary enemies. They're not scary themselves. They're just scary to fight. No. Oh yeah, let's rescue Cloth again while we're here. It's wait. She's either here or in deep nest. I can't remember. I think, oh yeah, we rescue her here. That's right. I keep forgetting I just picked up the Monarch Wings. Yep, the cloth's here. What's that noise? That clicking noise. Is it cloth? I think it was. If only hide, yada yada yada. Listen. Yep, if I didn't save you, you'd be dead. <laughs> okay, there go my eardrums. Okay, see you later. And then... I forget where she shows up next. It's either in Dirtmouth or in the, um... Queen's Gardens where she, um... No spoilers. There we go, Mollurks are dead. Let's get my well-deserved piece of pale ore. Now we have two pieces of pale ore, and we can upgrade my nail again. But I don't... Yeah, I can afford it. I just have to sell some stuff first. Ow. I forgot the... Ugh. I forgot those bell flies do. Two masks worth of damage. Jeez. Wait, hold on. What's what's down here? I don't actually remember. I do need some souls, so I'm gonna kill this dude. Alright, thank you, sir. Completely forgot there was a fake floor here. Oh, it's just a grubby. Yeah, I I'm not. I'm not saving him. I don't want to die. Sorry, Grubby. You're gonna be have to be watched by Mr. Mauler for a little bit. All right, and then we can just skedaddle on out of here with that stag I've got.
Hallows Grounds. Can't do anything here yet. Oh shoot, that's right. If I'm, if I'm going for the true ending, which I am gonna do in the videos, I have to get 1800 essence. We only have 300. I might do a dedicated episode where I just go around fighting all the warrior dragons and getting the, um, getting essence. Oh yeah, we almost have all the stag stations. Excuse me for a second. Alright, this video is going to end really, really soon. I'm going to sell my relics. And then I'm going to upgrade my nail. And the, my nail, excuse me. And then end the video. I keep forgetting. I just picked up the monarch wings. So I keep forgetting I can double jump. Oh, dear. That guy's there. Fortunately, just contact damage with those dudes don't do two masks worth of damage. And then we can just dash over. So in the next episode, I plan to go through the Royal Waterways, and then Deep Nest to get to Hera, the beast, which is one of the dreamers we have to get to beat the game. And then, uh, and then Mon- and then Monomon or Lurian. And then we'll just go through Queen's Gardens, and then the White Palace, and then get Essence and finish up the game. So I think we only have like five more videos to go, and then we complete the game. Although I do plan- oh yeah, one- another video too, to go through both the Kingdom's Edge and- Oh, I also plan to go through my favorite area in the game, called, which is the Hive. Yes, really. Whoops. I keep forgetting, I- I know I said- I said this like three times already, but I keep forgetting I just picked up Monarch ones. And I forgot to sell my relics, so I can't afford that yet. Dang it, I'm making this video way longer than I want it to be. Now it's gonna be an hour long video and take up take three hours to upload. That might not even be a joke. Whoops. Um Where is Lem Shop anyway? Oh, okay, it is up this shaft. I do think it's up here, actually. Here's the bench. Okay, I'm a little lost. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely lost. go up here and go around, and I think we'll be in the shaft that takes us to Lem's Relic Shop. I'm just sitting at the benches because I can. Oh, that would've been funny if that guy came in the elevator with me. And I think it's right here. Or one elevator right down, I think. Oh, I still haven't opened up that area. Yeah, here it is. Another journal, yeah. 
Morris Kian. Velmi Arthur. Colon is steel. Velmi Arthur. Yep. His shop will be Velmi on the floor with him too. Kachet. Velmi Arthur. King's Idol. Velmi Arthur. Each of the idols is different apparently. Helmadelka. Now we can afford to upgrade my nail. Oh, I just narrowly avoided get, getting hit by the spikes on the elevator. I miracu miraculously avoided hitting all those guards. Or sentries, or whatever they're called in the game. The video is gonna end in, I predict, 30 seconds. Ah, uh, Ranjo Stenja. Yep. 2,000! Jeez. Forgot how expensive it is to upgrade your nail in this game. Jinsha. Gardel Akari. Spiral nail. I think this is the coiled nail. Yes, the coiled nail. Yep, my 30 minute predict 30 second prediction was correct, kind of. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, everyone. Next episode, we will be going through the Royal Waterways. See you next time, and goodbye.